Hello, welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. This is Cartago. Guys, so we're going to start our walking tour up here at the Central Market of Cartago. We're going to make our way over to that uh, historical church ruins over there. We're right in the middle of Cartago right now. So if you're trying to get here, you're going to travel about 30 minutes east from the San Jose Airport through San Jose, and you'll end up in this town that's surrounded by mountains. I didn't drive in from that direction. I drove in from, from the south, and it's one of the coolest roads I've ever driven on. I filmed it and I'm going to upload it on the Ambient channel so I'll link that below. So here's a little uh, indoor market. They've got all kinds of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Everything you can imagine. There's the rows go on and on down, uh, down off the main line here. You get your groceries here. You can get all kinds of stuff here. Just wander around. It's pretty cool. Definitely check it out. And as always, be sure to like this video subscribe right here on YouTube leave us a comment I'm trying to fill those requests you guys have as much as I can and just say hello if you subscribe and let me know where you're heading to in Costa Rica so inside the market is kind of like a lot of meat that I noticed and then outside there's a whole bunch of fruit vendors so you can see here all these fruit vendors Tons and tons of fruit. And it all looks really good. Good prices too. There's my go-to, pineapples. I eat like a pineapple every day. I don't know how you couldn't being in Costa Rica where they grow pineapples. In Canada, pineapples were like $8 or something for a quarter of a pineapple. It's insane. How can anybody live like that? So up this street around to the left there, there's more fruit vendors. There's a shoe store here. Cool, there's tons of stores down here. This is like a really busy little, uh, busy little town. So the main park is down this way. That's where we're gonna head once there's a break in traffic here. And it's starting to rain a bit. And that's one thing about the Central Valley here. It rains a lot. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing my beach stuff. I did not bring cold weather clothing to Costa Rica and because uh, I didn't actually know there was cold weather here but it's kind of chilly here you can see people wearing long sleeves and pants that's something that I'm not familiar with in the last couple of years let's hit it so if you're coming this way bring some uh, bring some warm clothes and definitely like I was just driving uh, between here and San Isidro so south from Cartago and it was cold like it was actually cold and it was very foggy. You're basically driving through clouds, but there was like pine trees up there. Actual pine trees and pine bushes. So the differences in climate that uh, exist all throughout Costa Rica in such a small area, is pretty incredible. A lot of it depends on the elevation and uh, how many clouds there are and precipitation, everything like that. So you get a wholly different experience depending on where you, uh, where you want to visit. And there's a Burger King there, so get your fix, right? If I came to Costa Rica for a short period of time, I wouldn't want to go to uh, Burger King. I'd get something else. That's just me. There's also a McDonald's there. That's the second McDonald's in as many blocks. Can't get enough. KFC. Can't miss KFC. All right, so here we are at the, the park, if you will. Here's a big statue we can check out. So this statue, uh, this monument, commemorates 200 years of independence. It's pretty cool. Big open park. And you can't really see from where we are all the mountains off in the distance. If you go off on the uh, roads, 
leading out of Cartago, you're going to start to be able to see the totality of it. You can maybe see over there, I'll zoom in, some of the mountains. So it's just such a difference in elevation that you can find here. So here's this cool statue. Right on. And here is the ruins of the church that was brought down by earthquakes. Now on Google it said this is open 24, 24 hours, but it's not open. So maybe it's not open on the weekends or something. Maybe there's staff that staff it. If you know, let me know in the comments below. We'll go take a look inside though. But it's massive. It would have been a massive church. You can see obviously from the footprint. So there you go. Very nice, very well maintained. So, you know, obviously staff are here, but there's just not anybody here right now. But when you're here on your trip, or if you visited here, leave me a comment, let me know how it was. So I hope you enjoyed that video from right here in Cartago. Once again, be sure to like this video, hit subscribe on YouTube, leave us a comment or a request or say hello or what's up. It doesn't matter much. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon here on your vacation. Bye now.